guys, in this After Effects tutorial we are going to create this. Before starting this tutorial, you can buy this template from my website, click on add to basket, fill all the details, then click on place order, link is provided in the description. Make sure to subscribe my channel, and hit that bell icon. Create a new composition, call it as main. I'm going with 1920 by 1080, duration 10 seconds long, then click on OK. Import the project files, these project files are free to download. It comes along with the title sound, download link is provided in the description. Now drag your logo to timeline, make sure your logo is in PNG format, that is, it has transparent background. Right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as logo. Now duplicate the logo layer. For the bottom layer, apply fill effect on it. Change the color to black. For the top layer, again apply fill effect on it. Change the color to white. Then apply simple choker effect on it. And set choke mat to 5. Create a new adjustment layer. Then for the adjustment layer, apply Gaussian blur. And set blurriness to 4%. Select all the layers, right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as logo edge. Now go to project panel, and drag this reflection map to timeline. Now hide the logo edge layer. For the reflection map, apply the motion tile effect on it. Set output width to 160 and output height to 200, and click on mirror edges. Press S on your keyboard and increase the size. Press P on your keyboard and change the position like this. Now add a keyframe on title center, go to end of your timeline, set X position to 4300. We will use this image, to create the reflection on our logo. Right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as reflection 1. Now go to project panel drag and drop your logo composition, on top of all the layers. Now for reflection 1, change track mat to alpha mat. For the reflection 1 layer, apply CC glass effect on it. Open surface, change bump map to your logo edge. Set softness to 25, height to 90, displacement to minus 300, open light, change light type to point light, set light height to 100%. Now apply CC blobby lice effect on it. Open blobby ness, change bump map to your logo edge, set cut away to 0 and softness to 3. Now go to project panel, select reflection 1, go to edit, and duplicate it. Drag and drop, open the layer, press U to see the keyframes, go to beginning on your timeline. Press P, and change the Y position as shown. Now 
Now come back to main composition. Again drag and drop your logo composition, for reflection 2, change track matte to alpha matte, for the reflection 2 layer, again apply CC glass effect on it. Open surface, change bump map to your logo edge, set softness to 25, height to 100, displacement to minus 500. Open light, change light type to point light, set light height to 100%, light intensity to 80%. Now apply CC blobby lice effect on it. Open blobby ness, change bump map to your logo edge, set cut away to 0 and softness to 3. Now change blending mode to screen. And press T, set opacity to 80%. Now you will have this realistic reflection, it looks really nice. Select all the layers, right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as logo reflection. Now go to project panel, again drag and drop your logo composition below logo reflection, for logo reflection, change blending mode to hard light. Duplicate the logo reflection and change blending mode to screen, for bottom logo reflection, set opacity amount to 50%, and for the top logo reflection, set opacity amount to 40%. Now you will have this glossy reflection effect on your logo. Create a new composition, call it as shape layer, Now select this rectangle tool press and hold on it, then select ellipse tool, now drag and draw like this, press and hold ctrl plus shift on your keyboard, to make a perfect circle. Now press ctrl and double click here, to align the anchor point to center, now apply turbulent displace effect on it. Set amount to 60, size to 80, and complexity to 7. Go to 4 seconds, press S and add a keyframe, make it 0%, go to 6 seconds, and increase the size to 255. Now press P then add a keyframe. Now press U to see all the keyframes. Now come back to 4 seconds and adjust the position as shown. We will use this shape layer to reveal our logo. Now come back to main composition, select all the layers, right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as final logo. Now go to project panel, drag and drop your logo reflection composition, below final logo, and also shape layer on the top. Now for final logo, change track matte to alpha matte. Now your logo will reveal according to shape layer. Now we will create stroke animation. Select the bottom layer, and apply Vegas effect on it. Change blend mode to transparent. Open image contours, set channel to alpha, this is important step. Now set segments to 1, change even to bunched. Rotation to 61, check this random phase, set color to dark gray. Set width to 3.5, hardness to 0.5, midpoint opacity to 1, and opacity to 1. Now add a keyframe on length and make it 0. Go to 5 seconds and 20 frames. 
set length to 1. Now you will have this nice stroke animation. Then select this layer and apply, CC radial fast blur effect on it. Set amount to 80. Change zoom to brightest. Now adjust the position as shown. Make sure you're at the first frame. Then add a keyframe on center, go to 4 seconds. And change the position as shown. Go to 6 seconds, and change the position as shown. Press U to see all the keyframes. Now add a keyframe on amount. Press U to see all the keyframes. Set amount to 0. Come back to 4 seconds, and set amount to 80. Select all the layers, right click, select pre-compose, I'm calling it as animation. Now make the layer 3D. Now go to project panel, drag and drop the background image to timeline, make the layer 3D, increase scale, and adjust the position as shown. Now create a new camera. Camera should be on top of all the layers, go to end of your timeline, open camera, transform, add a keyframe on point of interest and position. Come back to first frame. Select this rotation tool and rotate it. Now select this zoom tool and zoom it. Finally select this position tool, and change the position little bit, so that your logo is in center. Select all the keyframes, right click easy ease them. Press 0 to ramp review. To change the logo, simply open this logo comp, delete previous logo, and put your logo, it works for the text layers. It works for both the logo and text. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.